This season of Rank Battles starts out with Bronze League in tiers 6 or 7. So I brought in Nagato for this one. I've been running a little bit of Mahon and a little bit of the German cruiser York, but we're going to try some battleship. So we have three battleships two cruisers and two destroyers on each team. My commander on this ship is a new one to me. She was a 10-pointer that I won from completing some missions and such. and. Uh, Hopefully, she can bring some good things to us here. All right, well, we have started out right in the middle between Bravo on our side, and the other team will probably be just opposite us, so just going to kind of figure things out here where we're going to stay balanced. Nagato being a Japanese battleship has really good range and very decent accuracy at that range but she needs targets to shoot at. She has a large superstructure so she's easy to light on fire and she has a citadel that if she sits square broadside, she will get smacked. Oh, and I was loaded with HE. Apparently the last time I used her was for something that needed HE. My voice is a little rough tonight. It's real smoky here in the Pacific Northwest right now. I've been working outside in the yard. Okay. TG, we need you to go down before you can do something to our DD. Oh, and I did not get it done. I got four ricochets. Nagato, you kind of let me down on that one. Oh, good. Okay, Fiji's going to give me another shot at it. Hopefully he does not take out her Haida. I don't know though. Yeah, he took down the Haida. I took him down. Rather have saved our DD. Should have got him the first time, but... A little bit of a spread on those shots. All right, that other British cruiser up there, the Duplex, I believe is British. Oh. My spotter plane didn't last as long as I needed it to. Probably couldn't have got my shots over that island, though. Now the Hayuga is a Japanese battleship that is very similar in nature to the Nagato, but I think our Trento is going to torp him, and he did. Okay. Shoot! Two over pens and one pen. At that range, should have cleaned his clock. Well, hopefully the Yudachi is going to be able to finish the job here. Okay, good. Uh-oh, we're going to lose the war spite over here, though. He sailed out way too far forward. Oh, 
Okay, and then I don't really like my position here with these two battleships in front of me and a DD off to my side. All of those shots missed. Well, I know Nagata is not that bad of a ship. I've used her effectively before, in fact. Okay, well, try again. One over pin. Pretty sure I was shooting a little lower on the ship. That's a high shot because I'm shooting his guns. Go figure. All right, now I am dark for a bit. Now I've got a DD coming around behind me capping us. I can see him there. He has left the cap. And he is going to come around and he's going to try to cap us here. So let's see what we can do here. First things first. pin and two over pins not really getting it done here okay well the other guy has got him low enough that I should be able to finish him again shooting for guns all right Now, the duplex, duplex, oh no, let's see here, been missing up close, have to get pretty lucky to actually hit him here, <laughs> okay, oh, you can't tell what RNG is going to do for you. Sometimes everything works in your favor and sometimes nothing works in your favor. Okay, they have taken that cap behind us. There are two DDs and both of them are right behind me. HE loaded. Oh, and I missed him. He pulled up just as I was shooting. Darn it. Okay, now we don't have any DDs. Not sure how our Yudachi was spotted. Okay, there's a DD just around to my side. Japanese battleships have glacially slow tra traverse. When I have to wait for the turrets, it just takes forever. And I am leaving our Asturias hanging out. Unfortunately, kind of have to at this point, though. Yeah, sorry. I wasn't in a position to be able to help you, and I need to hustle back over here. 
See what I can do against a DB or two that's going to be waiting for me. There he is. Okay, now he's going to send torps, but I zapped one set. There they are. And I'll take a couple, maybe. Now, my turrets won't get in, but my secondaries will do a job. I have good secondaries. There we go. All right. And I am not detected. So I can take this cap. Very slow process. Game has been really close. All right, now we'll be making, I think, six points every second or so. So moving right along. Now the score up above is switched. We're on the right-hand side where the enemy should be because this is a replay. Uh-oh. I am detected, but where from? In front of me or behind me? I wouldn't bet he is behind me. I'm thinking he's going to want to torp me. But Caracciolo is really low, although he's probably had a heal since then. I doubt he wants me to see him. So he's depending on his DD to do the job. And there's the DD. Let himself get spotted somehow. Okay, now he's far enough out there. I'll take the cap. He'll come back in and get it. But I'll just head out. Make him chase me after that. He's got me detected. He has 15k torps, so... Not the fastest thing in the world, but... I don't need him getting them in on me. Okay, we took the cap. Now make him come take it back. You can't take them all. spotter plane just in case he can see something maybe he'll see the Caracciolo trying to come in and help out according to our timer that you can't see up above we have a minute 10 left I just let the team know okay that was the Caracciolo because the Adachi shells would not have hurt that bad need to give him a chance for a citadel. Yudachi's just going to keep me spotted. Yep, there's the Caracciolo. He'll disappear before I can... get around that hill enough to shoot at him. Okay, the Yudachi's in Charlie Cap. I'm sure he's torping. I 
Okay, I think that's all he gets for a little while. I cut pretty close to this island. Intending to go around it, but I don't want Gnaiz now and I both getting hit at the same time. Oh, he had more. Okay, well, no problem. There it was. Nice win. Okay, only 60,000 in damage, but got four kills, so that's good for something. And had two defended ribbons to help out, and <laughs> I got three captures. A battleship. My goodness. And ended up on top of the leaderboard with 2,280 base XP and close quarters expert to go along with it. And my Asturias got a high caliber. I hope I remembered to comp him. I don't recall. Uh, this was last night that I recorded this one, but my potential damage was just short of a million. So, in spite of those torps that were coming within spotting range and all those shells that were being fired there for a bit, they had still only amounted to just under a million. Okay, so I finished off the very low health New Mexico was able to take out that Akatsuki. Got pretty lucky that he missed with his torps and my secondaries did the job there. Got very lucky at that long range shot on the duplex. And then the Fiji, I should have finished him with that first salvo. Totally able to, just didn't do it. Anyway, brought in 277,000 in credits. Got 717 in free XP and then 35.8 in regular XP, which I don't need because on this account, this is on the Halsey SeaWiz Tech account, if you didn't notice. I've already pushed up all the way up to the Yamato on that account, but the free XP is good. And then the Commander XP, 687. Elite Commander XP and then 13,732 in regular XP. All right, here we are with Nagato. This is an interesting camo. It's a permanent camo that I had and called Deep Red. Okay, so Nagato has these big turrets up front, two barrels each, and two back aft, two barrels each. She also has a good set of secondaries that definitely was good enough to do the job on the little DD that got himself trapped in there. All right, so my captain here is uh, Ashikaga Teru. I believe I got her as part of the Star Trek. Uh, a cooperative uh, event that's been going on and I just picked her up a short time ago and I needed a captain for Nagato and I took her and she did a good job as a 10 point captain I can get all the skills through level 4 so I chose gun feeder first and then grease the gears even though the Japanese battleships are so slow. This helps a little bit. Then I went with Adrenaline Rush because I knew I would take damage. And I did. And so that improved my reload characteristics. And then I chose Emergency Repair Expert so that I'd have the extra heal. Some people go first for Concealment Expert, but... I'm going to be shooting as often as I can, as long as I have a target to shoot at, so that isn't as helpful to me 
as having the extra heal. Later on, I will probably go with that one. And then last, I tend to go with the fire prevention expert last. Now, I don't build into my secondaries on a Japanese battleship. Could have been useful there. Sometimes I'll use the vigilance, but um, I'm not here. All right, she has everything specced out on this ship. I'm running main armaments mod one to help keep my guns from getting knocked out. Running damage control systems mod one to help cut down on the risk of catching fire. Aiming systems mod one to give me a uh, lot better accuracy at range, especially. And uh, uh, cut down on the dispersion. And then I had Propulsion Systems Mod 1 loaded there. And I don't know, I think it might have been more useful to have had Steering Gears Mod 1 because I can use that to help me keep my guns on target a little bit easier. Uh, get them on target when they're on the wrong side, I can steer toward them. So I think I'm going to switch that over been using that a lot on battleships lately and it helps okay so I did not want to detonate I did want to put the fires and the flooding out as quickly as possible I did want my ramming flags on I had the secondaries on uh, even though they're not great on Japanese battleships they're not bad especially on Nagato and I had continuous AA damage because there can be CVs in here. There weren't on this one, but we've seen CVs and subs. And then I run the November Foxtrot that gets my spotter plane up more quickly. And then India Delta uh, restores some of my HP uh, when I do run a heal. So that was Nagato's setup. And we're still in the Philippines, as we were last time I did a video. I think, uh, well, I think I had that one with the full moon, but this is a bright, cheery port, so I like this one. Okay, well, that was a, a really good battle. Uh, my next video, I am still working on some of the details. Probably be coming out in a couple of days. So we'll see how everything works out. Have a great evening.